From flooding to fires to a first of its kind program, tonight scenes like this have first responders in Placer County working on a plan right now, they say, that could save lives. Thanks for joining us here at 10. Lots to get to tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Brady Howe Live is live getting answers on how this new model works, Brady. Well, guys, this new model is in response to five declared emergencies over the past two years, one of those being the Mosquito Fire. And with fire season just around the corner, they want to be as prepared as possible, and they say this is one of the ways to do it. Fire season scares me every year because we've had to evacuate before. Mike DeSico is among the thousands of Auburn neighbors anxious for fire season. With a rainy winter behind us, many aren't sure what that means for fire season. So I don't know, are we going to get more growth, which is going to feel more fire, or is the water going to keep it down? I don't know what to expect. David Atkinson, assistant director for emergency services, whatever this summer brings, they'll be ready. That's because they'll be working with a designated official for the first time from fire and law enforcement coordinating response. The biggest in terms of a response is just going to be speed. So what makes it the first of its kind? We're getting answers. This is the first time there's a position with law enforcement and fire to work directly with emergency services. The plan calls for the addition of two new positions, one taken by the assistant fire chief for Placer County Fire and the other by a lieutenant with the Placer County Sheriff's Office. They'll work directly with Placer County's Office of Emergency Services. Officials believe by creating these new positions, it'll help streamline communication and provide quicker and more efficient response during emergency emergencies like damaging storms, mudslides and fires. In this type of model, we can be proactive when it comes to pre planning for events, pre planning for fire season and having the community well prepared and us to make that, those better decisions quicker. The sheriff's lieutenant will aid in evacuations, air support and search and rescue, while Placer County Fire will manage everything fire related, including evacuations, mitigation and preparedness. Cal Fire's Ryan Wesner says getting needed resources and quickly can make the difference in containing a fire. That information goes straight to me and it goes straight to OES and um, those re resource requests get filled instantaneously. For DeSico, who has been evacuated from his home before, having faster response is critical. These fires, man, they spread so fast they can jump right down ravines and so sometimes you may just have a few minutes to get uh, out so the sooner we get the information the better. Now, this new model is expected to cost about $1.1 million, and if all goes well, they hope to be an example for the rest of the state. Yeah, fire concerns always top of mind no matter what day of the year it is. Brady, thank you.